Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 9. Last time, did some more exploring. Um, if we can load up the map, we did some more exploring uh, in the centerpiece of our uh, south side here to check out the baptismal church, the ailing village, uh, went cave hunting. Uh, we also um, took our pathway over here to the summon water village, dealing with the mariner, uh, undead mariner boss, uh, of which we got another death route, which we took to D, who has... Uh, Marked this on our map, Ascending Gate. So I've marked, I've got a few notes that I've written down of some things that have happened. We also encountered Alexander, the Iron Fist, who told us that he's going to journey to the east, um, to a location somewhere called Redmain Castle. Some sort of festival, I think? Um, D has shown us how to find Garank, uh, a Beastmaster, which is that way. Um... And we've got, you know, more caves to check out, more locations to check out. I mean, I mean, we've got, <laughs> we've got a decent amount to check out. So without further ado, let's get to exploring. Obviously, these, these markers that we've left all over our map have been a godsend, especially when you go a little while without playing the game. That's the funny thing about recording a Let's Play is I don't, like, smash it out and get, like, way too far ahead. I am actually trying to, like, moderate myself because I... I need to have a life and do other things. So it's it's funny when I like put the game down for a few days and I come back and I'm like, okay, what was I doing? That's why this notepad is coming so in handy. So I can at least be like, okay, I have a couple of pointers, a couple of things to go off of, which is which is nice. So we've also got Everjails in places as well, which uh, could be a nice thing to to see if we could. Uh, if we're skilled enough to clear them or get through them, um, we will just have to. We'll just have to find out. I think what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head back uh, to the to just the beginning area here. I'm gonna go to the Church of Ella. We're gonna check back in with we're gonna check back in with Carle because um, uh, we've had some instances where stuff has happened here. So because this is one of the starting locations. I always think it might be a good idea just to come back uh, here specifically, as well as a couple of other locations. I was going to see if maybe Renner might have been back here. Uh, but we'll speak to Carle and we'll have a look around this area and see if anything has see if anything has changed before before proceeding. Yep, just press the correct button. Weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Care to buy something? About the howling in Mistwood. The howl of a wolf in the Mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? I've been trying to. Next time you hear the wolf's howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. I just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Finger snap. Oh, we have to gesture him. Here I am when we're walking through being like, do I have to like yell at him? I'm like, ah, doing an ash of war. <laughs> All right, it's a finger snap gesture. That's cool that we're actually told how to do it. Okay, I'm going to come back to this dude like regularly throughout the game because this dude is m so much more helpful than any other merchant in the game. This is like our main boy. That's cool. All right. Uh, no other tips, however. Cool. Bye for now. The snap gesture. Well, that just became the that just became the top of my priority list. That just became the top of my priority list. Finger snap. Um, and he is at the Mistwood Ruins where I put like a, an animal symbol. Yep, <laughs> I put the animal marker there. Cool. That's first things first. Gotta go and finger snap at a, at a wolf boy. Um, let's have a look. Let's get our horse up. Let's get our horse up and we'll see what's going on here. Uh, have we got our... Okay, we do. Hold on. Ah, oh, that's kind of annoying. 
I'm trying to see if I can... Yes, you can. Alright, cool. Just have to press the right sequence of... No, leave me alone! Just have to press the right sequence of buttons to get a torch on my horse in my left hand without switching it to my right hand. Perfect. Uh, which direction am I running in? Am I running in the correct one? Who knows? But I got a glass shard. Okay, we kind of are. Okay. Okay, bud. You need to chill out. I'm not here for you. Is he still following me? I'm not here for him. Oh. Oh, God. Why does it have to be flowers and skeletons that just... They're just chillin'. Damn it. Oh! I hear the I hear the wolf's howl. Sacrificial twig, nice. Oh my god, leave me alone. Ah. Stop. Oh god. Please stop. Whoa, hang on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I'm almost poisoned. Um, I think one of those skeletons just disappeared. I think one of those skeletons just disappeared. Hold on a minute. That's interesting. the fuck this whole time I just thought that they were rising back up because you needed like maybe like a holy weapon or something similar to Dark Souls 1 turns out if you hit them while they're getting up they die interesting interesting mechanic I mean I'll, I'll take it I guess that's good to know. Fuck. When we, when we were taking on the Mariner then with all of those guys, we could have just dealt with it immediately. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, lit on fire. What is it doing? It's not even reacting. Okay, it just let me kill it. I've got a wolf to see, guys. You guys are all distracting me. This is also my warm-up of me trying to get used to combat again. <laughs> so that's kind of why I've, like, accepted this sort of section. I'm like, okay, I need to fight people again. It's been, it's been a little while. I need to remember how to play. Alright. So. Pro tip. Skeletons are not invincible, and you don't need a holy weapon, you just need to hit them when they're getting up. They're vulnerable, apparently. Alright, I'm coming, sir. Let's have a look. I hear a bear. Alright, you're up here somewhere, where are you? There you are. Listen here, mate. I'm about to finger snap at you, so you better come down here and hang out. Here. <laughs> Oop. Okay. Don't attack me. You are the guy on the loading screen. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, is he gonna fight this bear? He's gonna go fight this bear? No? Okay, now I can talk to you? Hang on. You are the guy from the loading screen. <laughs> You're cool looking. Who goes there? Carly sent you, did he? Ever the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrowell. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. 
I can offer you ample reward. That is not the voice that I expected. So it's spelt like Blade, but I've already, whenever I get told a name, instantly forget it. Blythe? Like it's, it, you see, okay, so it's, it's, it's pronounced so much differently than it's spelled, and he's looking for someone named Darawil. Darawil is nothing Darawil. but a traitor, and in need of a fitting end to his tale. Wolf Knight Blythe. Looking for Darawil. Darawil is nothing but a traitor, and in need of a. F okay, so if I find Darawil, you'll give me a reward? You are no, you, you do not sound how I expected you to. I want that sword, man. That's cool. What if I finger snap you again? Huh. How interesting of a gesture to get his attention. Then he just drops down and he goes, Oi, mate. You there. You find a guy called Darawil for me. And I'll give you a reward. That's how he sounds. <laughs> okay, well, we've got that out of the way. Um, I don't know if he'll move, but we'll keep the marker there for now. Um, maybe I'll go back to Carle now. And I'll say, hey, I got his attention, and he wants me to get Darren. You're looking for a guy named Darren. Hey, mate. Wait. Well, you're back. Aha. Okay, this is my second chance to hear the pronunciation because it's just gone straight out in one ear and out the other. Ah, then you met Blythe, did you? Blythe? Wonderful. I'm glad I pointed you in his direction. He's boorish, blunt, and couldn't find his nose with both hands. But he's a good egg. He's a good egg! <laughs> I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. Okay. So it's like pronounced Blythe. Goodbye for now. Nice. Goodbye for now. All right, so we're gonna find a dude for him. I don't know where, but somewhere. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Usually I'm just like pick a direction and run with it. I think we've done a decent job at this area. This is another note that we have, which is the Dragon Communion Church. The West Island at Limgrave, which that dude, uh, Yura, um, the Yura the Hunter of Fingers told us about this place. Um, I mean, we're close by. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get down there. So it's an island off this way. Let's get down. Oh, there it is. There? Now it looks like a decent amount of... Oh god, there's a giant. It looks like a decent amount of water between it, though. And you can't swim in this game. Maybe there's a boat or something. Can there be an NPC there with, like, a, a canoe? And he says, Oi, mate! You want to go over to the church? You want to do some dragon communion? Well, I'll take you over there. What is that all the way in the distance? What's that sparkly stuff? I'm getting I'm getting distracted. Ooh, what is this sparkly stuff? What's going on here? What is that? Um I'm going to follow your footsteps. I'm going to follow you. What is this? Maybe I'll just wait for you to run in front of me. Get ready to defend, boys. An invisible thing. What? Wait, mate. You don't think you could help me, man. You heard anything about invisible thing? Yeah! What the okay, what is this thing? It's sparkly and magical, and I have no idea what it is. Are you an enemy? You are an enemy. I'm like, hey mate, you want to tell me anything about that magic thing? Oh god. Sorry, I disturbed your little nap. Oh 
Ow! You there. Okay. Love how he's just chilling. Ooh, we got a cool helmet. Love how he's just chilling. We're like, you can't tell us about this magical footstep thing. What is magical footstep thing? Oh, I'm just gonna run. We're j I'm just gonna... Maybe we're just gonna do a lap. In the footsteps of... Magical footsteps. Maybe if we just run around and follow the circle, something will happen. God, it's faster than I am. When all else fails, finger snap! What the fuck? This feels like Bloodborne, I need more insight to see what it is. <laughs> it's invisible to my eye. Alright, I'm gonna put a marker on this map here. Because I don't know what this is. Diamond, there you go. I don't know what this is. We will come back to it. Uh, magical footsteps. Gotcha. We'll put a pin in that. Let's see if we can get over to this island. For a bit of dragon communion. Go, Torrent. Just walk on water. It's that easy. Yeah, that looks like a bit of ground to cover. I don't know. And I've, I've just got... I've just got one little jump. Oh, well, there's a boat. I mean, not much left of one, but there is a boat. God, it's like so close yet so far. Oh, hang on. Oh no, you'll be another enemy, won't you? Oh, <gasps> no, you're not an enemy! Yes, okay. Well, excuse me, mate. Can you tell me how to get across the river? What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Nomadic merchant, no? Damn it. Oh, -ho. damn it. Land squirts, stone digger trolls. Damn it. Almost cookbook. Sir, I wish to know how to cross. The river. Oh, nice. Alleviates the buildup of sleep and poison buildup. This is our poison cure item. Neutralizing boluses. Alright, let's get land squirts. Stone digger trolls. Armorous cookbook for firebone arrows and neutralizing boluses. Nice. So we can actually now craft instead of buying the... Now we can now craft them. Oh, nice! With Herber's Cave Moss and a Dragonfly Head. Nice. Um, I'll make a few of these because we do have poison popping up here and there. So I'll actually make some of those. I'm not... I don't suppose you know the magic way across the water, do you, sir? That's what I was actually hoping for when I encountered you. But that's fine. Um, let me put another marker here for you. So I know where you are. Damn it. Uh, there's a wind path here. But that's definitely not going to get me across the way. Wind! Let's go! Where does this want me to go? Oh god. Oh. Okay. I see. It wants me to go up there. Well, that's just the way back up. Let's try that again. Nice. Oh god, that's so beautiful. <laughs> that's gorgeous. What a cool jump. Uh, okay, we'll have to put a pin in the church for now as well, because that's another thing. That's just another thing. Uh, we've already we've already read this guy's note, and he told us I wrote this down. Seek the Rose Church, West of Gate Town, so we have to go off to Leonia. Leonia. Damn, are we really, are we going off to Caled then? I think we might be going off to Caled. Or we go to Leonia, which is what was kind of recommended by both Vare and once we beat Godric. It's like, go out this way. Alright, maybe let's do that. I'm going to travel to Godric the Grafted. Let's, uh, let's go through... 
let's just pick this direction and run with it. Let's head off to Leonia. I'm a bit, I'm a bit stressed. I'm a bit stressed about it. I got to tell you, <laughs> it's like one of those things where you know that you're going ahead to like the uh, like a a main path. This guy's really still going. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy. Can I, mate? Can I, mate? Oh, that's another thing that I have to... That's another thing I have to deal with. Um, I have to use... Something that I've realized is I've got this... Fucking... i got this debuff. This red square... I've got this red square on me. Uh, I think happened when I got Baldekin's Blessing. I need to use it. And then it'll go down. And then I think my red square will disappear. And I think the red square has taken away some of my health. I've noticed. So, I'm just going to use that now. <laughs> I'm going to use that now. There we go. Baldekin's Blessing is gone. And now the red square is gone. I got the tiniest bit more health back. There you go. I, I was missing a tiny bit. How interesting is that? Alright, so I think if we run off out here... We'll finally be... Looking off... At Leonia. Yeah. Let me get up, get me past uh, this game's greatest enemy. Oh no, hang on, this is the wrong way. No, this is the right way. We're good. Look at that. All right, Leonia of the Lakes. We got here and we turned the fuck around straight away because I was like, oh god, this place is massive. Hello there. And I totally missed this grace point, which I could have touched. <laughs> When we came here the first time. Hello. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Okay. Do we have Shabriri grapes? I guess we might. I don't, um, I can't remember. Uh, so Hayeta, that's another name to write down. This is our second, this is our second blind maiden that we found as well, next to Irina, who, as we recall, uh, was killed and, um, What's his name? Edgar of Castle Morn has sworn revenge in her name. So that's another thing that we'll have to follow up on as well. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Okay, we had a grape and we got an as you wish gesture. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Blessing of the fingers upon you. God, that's a that's a bit of a fall. This area is too big. I'm overwhelmed. All right, guys, I'm turning back around. <laughs> There's an ever jail. That's a building. That's a big building. That's a tree. That's a bridge, tower, building. All right, guys. Which direction do I go? Oh, here's some more buildings. Fuck it, let's go this way. <laughs> it's close by. <laughs> This area is so massive and it's just like, I'm just like, look how much more of the game there is. <laughs> Are you ready for my 100 plus episode playthrough of Elden Ring? Because I am. Oh, this is the... Okay. This is where I wanted to go when we were going through Stormvale and we looked off in the distance. This is this collection of buildings. Church of Irith. Okay. New church. New church unlocked. Hey, look, it's me! Got another sacred tear. Look! I'm... Guys, Miyazaki put me in the game. You're tarnished, aren't you? Then, perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, I studied Blintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation, 
I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Okay. Donate 10 runes. I can donate 10 runes. All right, Rhea Lucaria has popped up a couple of times and I already recognize this dude as one of them because he's got the same robes as Selen. Selen is an NPC that we've that we freed and then there's a mystery one uh, that was in the ruins near the turtle mausoleum. Uh, don't know yet. And then this guy. Well, bless you. Bless you. You're a true saint. My name is Topes. Topes. Presuming you're interested, I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Only, none of them are particularly great. Okay. Sorcerer Topes. Study sorcery and talk. Okay, so that, this is our third... It might be a good idea to actually go and check in with Selen, uh, now that we've actually found that other NPC that was, like, chained up, that was also wearing the, like, wearing the big helmet thing, and then maybe might have something to say about Topes as well. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering, the Academy cast repelling seals on the east gate leading to the capital, and the south gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. Ah, okay, so... Oh, about selling is an option that we can pick here. Cool. So... The glintstone key, I'm assuming those the doors that we've come across must be those seals. So there's like a church type building that we've seen with one. Rhea Lucaria is closer than I thought it would be. He's like, hey, see that one over there? That's the academy. Holy shit. Okay. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Earth Tree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating to me? I know it. I'm a bluntstone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still, my place is at the academy. Okay, so he wants a glintstone key, and he says he's very patient. I'm taking that as hopefully the game's way of telling us Take your time, I won't go anywhere for like an NPC quest. We will see. Uh, let's ask about Selen. You've taken an apprenticeship with Selen. Well, that is something. Selen was well known. The most promising sorceress in the history of the Academy. I followed her at school. But there may as well have been an ocean between us. But Selen was expelled from the Academy. Accused of unthinkable treatment of certain sorcerers. Under the name of the Graven Witch. I still don't believe the accusations. The illustrious Selen would never do such things. Graven Witch. This is we're, we're moving on to I'm moving on to multiple pages, by the way. This is this is what we're that's what we're looking at right now. This is my Rhea Lucaria page. It started. <laughs> I just have so many names and just things in like like this means this. This is how you pronounce their name. All right, what is he? What has he got? Glintstone pebble, glintstone arc, and starlight. Oh, nice! It's basically it's the torch sorcery. Granted to sorcerers who depart from the academy to embark on journeys, even during the blackest nights, uh, Sir John's underground or imprisonment in jail. The stars are never far from a sorcerer's side. Okay. Fend off large groups of would-be adversaries. Fools often roam in packs. I'm loving the look of a lot of these sorceries. Uh, so much so that I genuinely can't wait to do like a magic-based playthrough already. I'm already thinking about how cool it's going to be when I get into the magic side of things, you know? It's going to be cool. 
Serves as a conduit, launching magical projectiles at foes. This is a universal first step of the journey to true knowledge of sorcery. Okay. So. Um, let's go chat to Selen. I think that's a good idea. Uh, so what's this church called? What was it? Hey, church of Irith. Okay. Um, so, let me... Okay, so I think... Rhea Lucaria is this one? That's Rhea Lucaria? Essentially Hogwarts. That's Elden Ring Hogwarts over there. There you go. So this section is going to be Rhea Lucaria. And this is the side where we need to get the other side of that, uh, the other half of that medallion that we found. I accidentally got my east and west mixed up when I did that, so we'll have to take another fun excursion to Kaled. Okay. Um, well, how do we get over there? Look at that statue, man. That's cool. Um, well, I don't know how to get over there, but something will happen. Let's have a look over the edge. Let's see if we can have a look over here before I move on. And then I'll quickly head back and we'll check in with, with Selen. Hello, guys. You just hanging out? Ooh, a warming stone. Okay, so... Yes! Oh, hello big boy! Ow! Ah. Oh, yeah. Die. Okay, so it only takes one hit, and then they actually die properly. Wonderful. Good to know. I'm now no longer afraid of our skelly boys. I don't have to just, like, run away profusely. Oop. Oop. Scared that my game might just freeze there. I haven't had a... Ooh, an Academy Scroll. I have not had my game crash yet, but, uh... Touch wood. <laughs> that was a moment where I went, Ooh, we're about to freeze. Who knows? Alright, I got an Academy Scroll. I'm assuming that we'd be giving our scrolls to... our sorcerers and they'd learn more sorceries. Um, if we're studying under Selen, I think it's probably a good idea to give it to her. So, guys, leave me alone. Um, I need to remember where Selen is actually located. Um, that w would have been nice if I wrote that down next to her name. I did not. So, I know that... I didn't even mark the NPC at the Tombswood Ruins, but I remembered. Um, so the, the quiet one is there. Selen is in one of these. Uh, that's the trap chest, never forget. Uh, that's patches. Oh, fuck. Where's Selen? Oh, actually... It might be the Waypoint Ruins. Yeah, the Waypoint Ruins cellar. This is where Selen is. Selen at the cellar. Perfect. That's where she is. Because I remember I've travelled to this a couple of times to go to... that fort. Hello, I've got questions for you. There you are, my apprentice. My apprentice. There you are. Yeah, give a scroll. We can't ask about, uh, topes or the qu question mark NPC though. Give the Academy Scroll. Actually, before I give it to you, I should read it. Probably a good idea. Oh, 
I also forgot <laughs> to read uh, those info notes. Hold on a second. Look at me go. I'm forgetting things. And I'm going the long way around. Hang on, where am I? Alright, key items. That's where I need to be. Uh, Academy Scroll! Okay. Great Glenstone Shard and Swift Glenstone Shard. Uh, let's have a read of this stuff, uh, which is the Land Squirts. Land Squirts are soft where they touch the ground and poison will cause them to rupture. Okay. Uh, do I need to take poison to a land squirt to kill him? Uh, the heads of the stone digger trolls bear old wounds. So this is just like, and saying we've got the flame chariots, we haven't done anything about that yet. So these are just like tips to deal with, I think, these particular types of enemies or something. We'll get there. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You wish to continue the lesson? Very yeah. well. Yes, take my scroll. Huh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Obviously this means nothing to me because I am not doing anything related to an intelligence build, but I'm still pro proceeding with it anyway. You wish to can very well. Hmm. All right, Selen. Keep your secrets. Um, maybe the one at the Tombswood Ruins will actually speak to me now. If we... Uh, I'll go from the church. We've met two other sorcerers. Perhaps it'll proceed maybe if we actually go to Rhea Lucaria. I'm just, I'm just gotta, gotta tick them off the list, you know? Gotta check in with all your NPCs just to see if anything can progress, because there's so many of them to keep track of. Like, another thing I've gotta do is I've gotta check in with, um... Oh yeah, that one needs to be opened. I need to also check in with, uh, Kenneth. Kenneth Height. About what's going on with him as well. Um... Where's the entrance to this place? There it is. No. No. Leave me. Leave me alone. I tried to skip you. Leave me. Leave me be. I'm trying to let you live your lives. Let me live mine. Oh! oh what the fuck? Oh yeah, they respawn, I guess. Fuck. Fuck. For some reason, I didn't expect these guys to respawn. Um, what talismans have I got again? Oh. Enhanced attacks on horseback. Let me turn, let me... Enhances guard counters. Mmm. Or a jump attacks. I'm gonna do... Enhance my guard counters. For now. Oh, shit. She's gone. Wait, is this the right... This is definitely the right... This is definitely the right tomb. Right? Oh, no! She's in these ones! <laughs> I've gone... Your, your sorcerer is in another ruin! Okay, hold on. I've already marked her on the map. She's in the Witchbane ones. Shit, this is the wrong place. <laughs> You've come to the wrong place. <laughs> never mind, I never have to come back here again. Alright, hold on. <laughs> this way! <laughs> I forgot that there was two ruins in, this, in the same place. There's just so much going on in this game, guys. Is that mausoleum still, like, grounded? Or does it get back up? Yeah, it's... Okay, it stays... The mausoleum stays grounded. Cool. There it is. So cool. Alright. Right, because this is the one that was poison. This is the poison ruins. Should have Should have remembered that. Alright, let's have a look. Oh yeah, this thing pops up. Right. Yep, that fucking thing. Yep, unforgettable. I can ride my horse down here. There you are. Uh, 
It will do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist. Okay, so she still has nothing. I don't know what to say, man. Oi! 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 Guard counter. Oh, God. Guard counter. Even though you're weak as shit anyway. Here. Yeah. That's so weird how it, like, dual wields arrows. <laughs> like, dual wields bows. So cool. Alright. Well, in that case, I'm going back to the lake facing cliffs. I thought I could do some sorcery stuff. And we didn't get much out of that. All we need is a glintstone key. That's kind of the only thing of value I've gotten out of those encounters. Let's move on. Okay. Um, Hyeta has moved on as well. So many characters' names to keep a track of. Now, what is the best way to get down? Maybe... Maybe we'll try over this side. Maybe we'll try over here. Actually, that looks incredibly unsafe. How the fuck do we get down safely? Uh, let's try over here. Maybe down here? Dogs. Dogs. Sorry to interrupt your howling session. Hey. 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 Okay. Oh, this is okay. This takes us to the other side of the bridge. Ah! Where are you? Oh, well, I mean, oh, there you go. I'm getting deja vu. This feels like I've been here before. We have been here before. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting deja vu. Yeah, okay, but hang on, I can go, ooh, I can go down, I think. Oh, yeah, I remember missing this guy before. All right, let me get this. Safely, without dying. I'm trying to like calculate if I could just jump down on torrent, there you go. Yeah, alright, I've been here before. Oh! No. No! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Ashes of War, Storm Wall, I almost fucking fell off. <laughs> almost fell off for that. Uh, storm Wall. Swing the shield to create a wall of storm winds in front of you, deflecting arrows and other such physical projectiles can be used in the same way as a regular parry. It's literally like a fucking... That's cool. Alright. And now I'm going to go back up again. Because <laughs> I didn't even... I was like... This feels... This pathway feels oddly familiar. Yes, I am retreading old ground. Wonderful. Except I need to remember when I see those... Uh, those glittery scarabs. The grey ones. They've got stuff for me. Alright. Looks like the safe way down might be over this side instead. Let's try that. Let's try down here. Is there a safe way down? I'm looking for maybe like a, a gust of wind? This still doesn't look very safe, dude. Oh, oh fuck, we're heading down. <laughs> well, uh, we're heading down, boys. Uh, actually, I think I might have found a safer way down. It just took me to die to find it. Maybe around there. I did not expect to miss that jump. And then it's like in those moments that you realize... Um, <laughs> in those moments you realize... Uh, how high your t ho horse does n not jump. God. Uh, I think we just run down here. 
I think we just go down here. There we go, this is our way down. A nice safe way down. Our oh, runes are up there, aren't they? Of course they are. Of course they are. Okay. Hello, skeletons. Best of luck, skeletons. I'm out. Alright, I should be able to survive this. Good. <laughs> okay. God, I gotta tell you guys, for for this game running on like maximum settings, the, the pop-in is pretty noticeable, huh? It's pretty noticeable. Something that's like a, a little bit like pulls me out. Where I'm like, oh, that grass is appearing. Whoa! That grass is appearing right in front of me, you know? Oh god, hello everybody. Get god counted. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, I can't heal now. God, you're one of those, are you? Yeah, one of those. Gotcha. Short sword. There's always that guy. Ooh, glintstone craftsman's cookbook. That reminds me, I've got a sacred... I've got a sacred tier that I need to, uh... Oh! Hey, matching shields! Did you know you could do that with your shield? Um, let's have a look at that thing. Expands crafting repertoire. We can make a Kaku Glintstone. Contains information on, um, on faux sorceries. Okay. Nice. Alright, we're riding on through, apparently. Let's make some progress, shall we? That feels, that, that feels like a good idea to me. And the next spot of grace we get to, I'll remember to use that sacred tear. Wow, alright, here we are. We're down at Leonia of the Lakes. Here's our grace point, and a merchant! Wonderful. Merchant, marked. Pressing X instead of Y. Okay, flasks. Um, there you go. Wonderful. We don't have golden seeds, do we? Yeah. Been a while. Been a little while. Alright, let's have a chat to our new friend over here. Hello there. You're new around here. Oh, you bet. Surprised you found me in my little nook. You're just off the road. No matter. No matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Take a oh, look at my wares. Don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? Found me in my little nook. Just literally just off the main road there. Alright, what you got for me? Ooh, he's got the astrologer clothes. That's cool, actually. The Astrologer outfit looks really cool. There's so many cool outfits, man. Like, the Confessor as well looks awesome. You're also selling a lantern. <laughs> S-Doc! Let's go back to... Guys, let's go back to Dark Souls 1, shall we? S-Doc is the best doc. Best weapon in the game. Worn by those who look to the cosmos above. So cool. They read fate in the stars, but are said to be heirs of the Glintstone Sorcerers. But alas, the night sky no longer cradles fate. All right, we can make crystal dart, spellproof dried liver, and shatter shard arrow. I will buy that from you. I kind of want to buy new clothes, but I love my outfit. So I'm waiting to get something that can replace my... <laughs> like, this is such a badass starter set. I do want to start mixing it up at some point when we get some cooler stuff. But we'll see. We will see. 
as we move more into our fashion souls. God, this is beautiful. Alright, let's take a walk, shall we? Let's go on a little journey. Where are we? So... Oh, there's our map marker. That should be the first thing on our list, is to get this map marker. It's so cool seeing all of the... Oh! I heard a noise! It's so cool seeing all of the, like, the glinstone lighting our way. Hey guys, you guys are in the way. Ah! Ah! Okay, fuck. Hold on. Get unsheathed upon, son. Nice. Let's have a look at what we're looking at. Leonia East. Ooh, okay, that's taken us all the way up. Wow, okay, so we've got a minor Erd tree up there. We've got a cave up there. Um, another cave there. That looks like it's an Ever Jail. All these boats that we can see on the map are cool. Interesting. Okay, so we've just got... Wait a minute. Oh, holy fuck. If that's just East Leonia. Have we still yet to unlock West Leonia? That's all the way out here then. Fuck. Okay. Is the map about to expand even further? Out to the West? Oh, damn. All right. I'm going to stay on horseback, but when we when we find things of interest, we will uh, we'll hop off. Okay, so we've got the full lake to explore. We've got the road that goes up this way, and we've got a road that goes up this way, which I assume would kind of lead up to Rea Lucaria. Oh, what the fuck is that? Put that away from me. What are you doing with that bell? Get that bell away from me. Oh my god, why are there so many of you? I'm trying to take a look around, guys. Ooh, there's one on horseback. What happened to these fellows? What happened to these fine fellows? They're like, corrupted. Ah, ooh, okay, they're materials. Crystal bud. They are materials. Oh, nice. Didn't stone firefly. We can just have torrent ride into them and we can pick them up. Oh god, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get lost. Okay, sometimes they're crystal things, and then other times they're glinstone fireflies. What the fuck is that? Ooh, hello. Oh. Are you gonna be similar to the th to the crab? I fucking hope not. Oh god, you're strong. Oh fuck, you're strong. Okay. Oh yes, let's go. Right in there, right in the gullet. Oh, okay. Look at that needle arm. Woohoo! Fucking hell. Is that like a uh, crawfish? Or like a lobster? What is. I'm not very good at my sea creatures. Um, the strip of white flesh doesn't really give it away because it, it's just that's a common thing I don't know my sea creatures guys it's either it's not it's kind of like a lobster I guess maybe who knows oh purified ruins is that is this our same woman hello is someone there would you donate any shabiri grapes in your possession to me I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light and when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. 
Does she think... I, I'm assuming that she just we're just a new person to her every single time because we're not talking to her. And she's like, hey, you there. Who are you? Can I have grapes? Hello? Would you donate... So every time we give her... Every time we give her a grape, she can feel the light in the back of her eyes that allows her to, like, proceed with her little quest, I guess. One grape got you a pretty far distance. All right, how do we get... How do we get those grapes? Um, this is my favorite thing, is when you can look in here and it does have the items and it tells you how you can find them. That's the coolest thing here for me. So we need to look in, is there going to be anything in here that is relatable to grapes? To grapes. Anything about grapes? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think there's anything in here relating to grapes. Fuck. Hmm. Ah, crap. Well, we don't have... That's a shame. Okay. There's no, we, we don't have anything in item crafting that needs grapes, so therefore we can't see where grapes can be found, and I should have probably... Should have probably checked that out when we had the grapes on us. So I'll remember that next time. So next time we get some grapes, um, we'll remember where we can find them. So is this whole area the purified ruins? I'm looking for like a staircase down into a place. Oh, didn't even see there. Didn't even see there. Mushroom. I got so comfortable, like, honestly guys, I got so comfortable exploring this area because it was so cool that now that we're in a new place, I'm just like, ah, there's just stuff in every direction again. Oh, it's one of our teleporting things. It's one of our teleporting things. I think it goes off in the direction that it is the light goes in, so that's going to take us over there somewhere. Um, let's. I'm going to just put a marker on it and we'll come back because I don't think it's a good idea to teleport in a direction that we have no idea what's going to be there. Uh, we've got another big sword with a story. Ugh, another big sword with a story on it on the road. This marks Millennia's southward march. The blade of McQuella and her clean rot knights grant her wings never to be clipped. Okay. Oh. Hello there, buddy. Get whacked. Yeah, you got just a few friends with your foot soldier helmet. Oh god, and a dog. Okay, hold on. Oh, that dog's still alive! I thought you were dead! I'm gonna get killed by this dog, okay. You can guard counter... Oh, you can guard counter, like... With the blade, too. You don't even need to have the shield to do that. That's neat. That's neato. I like that. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's an enemy. That's literally a hot air balloon. That is a hot air balloon with like a glinstone flame. Um, hold on a minute. You want to uh, shall we? Shall we see what happens at a distance? Let's put our longbow on. Oh, there's a bunch of people down there. Lock onto the that thing. There you go. 
Lock onto the lock onto the other thing. You were able to do it before, there you go. Hey ya! Golden Rune 6. Oh, okay. They didn't like that. <laughs> they didn't like that. Alright. Alright, guys. <laughs> They're like, how fucking dare you? Oh, no! Like... I'm like, don't attack me. Wow. Guys. Ugh, what the fuck? <laughs> They're just shooting off in every direction. Ah! Eh! Ah. Leave me be. God. Stop doing that. You're too erratic. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your time today. Okay, I guess we'll... I guess I'll run off and I'll, I'll clear this section now. I'll look through... I'll look through here. It seems like a good idea. Because it seems like it's separate from everywhere else. Let's pop this balloon. Pop! Okay, so that's... they're quite weak. And you just automatically get a golden rune six. That's cool. Good to know. Ooh, there's a grace point on the road. Probably a good idea to stay on the road. Touch grace, baby. They took the literal term of going outside and touching grass and put it in the game. Still waiting for another moment to speak to um, Melania. But she's, uh, she's shy. I got another group on the main path. Hello, everybody. Lone travelers on the road. You made a mistake by encountering me. I'm always trying to just... Oh, there's a whole pathway down there. Is there? It looks like it. I'm always trying to look out on cliff edges to see if we can find anything that's like lower down. Oh, that's the bridge. There you go. Okay, I see that. Because there's that uh, finger maiden that we spoke to on the other side of this bridge. Oh, hello. Is this guy protecting... Uh, I think these things... Uh, that's got a chest in it, but you need to, like... Uh... Okay, he's... <laughs> Alright. Let's fight. Where's the weak point? Shit! Ah, oh, what? Second chance at the weak point. Yep. Right in the eye. There you go. Now, there's one of these. There's one of these guys. Two of them actually pulling one of these things way back in Limgrave, and I think you have to kill them to get into the chest. And we haven't done that yet, so I should go back for that. Tree spear. I I can't remember where exactly. Somewhere over here. Uh, I think it's like on this road around here somewhere is where there's like the two giant ones pulling one in motion and we tried to loot it while it was in motion and we couldn't so I think we just need to clear it all right um, here's something as well by the way that um, was was pointed out that I just remembered of that for some reason isn't on the controls down the bottom there's room down there but if you press L you can sort the thing by order of acquisition you can sort it by order of acquisition and it will be at the bottom which is really nice because then when you like pick up 
like new items. Order of acquisition. When you pick up new items, it's pointed out, which is which is very nice. I need to remember that when we're like looking for stuff, when we get new items, and then I can just do it that way. So we've got a tree spear, a golden spear with a tree-like design, wielded by knights employed as palace guards in the royal capital of Landell. Deals holy damage, requiring superior dexterity to wield. This great spear can perform consecutive thrust attacks despite its larger size. The Sacred Order skill. Skill of the Golden Order Fundamentalist Knights. Perform a salute and grant the armament holy essence. Highly effective against those who live in death. Uh, so it's a dex and faith weapon. So I need to put 10 more faith points in if I want to wield it for a bit of holy weapon. So probably not, but good to know anyway. So we've been on the other side of there. We've been on the other side of that bridge, so that's good. Always like it when I can be like, cool, this area is, is cleared. So now we can make our way back through here. Elden Ring is just a, a, uh, a game where you square off a section of the map and you uh, <laughs> run through it as much as possible to to hopefully not miss things and I will miss things and it feels like it's definitely the nature of this game that I will miss things uh, but I will try my best to to explore uh, through areas in a in a nice thorough manner in order to uh, try and get the most out of it there's a jellyfish down there that's another thing we still have to do and figure out, is we need to uh, summon that jellyfish as well. We haven't summoned yet. Uh, it seems her name is Aurelia. So we need to do something about that. Uh, I think we can only summon when there's like a little, uh, when there's an icon on the side of the screen. Um, and then we need to use that bell. So I think if I equip the bell, wherever it may be in my inventory, this guy, I think I can equip it. Let me through. Let me get rid of these. Uh, I think I can equip it. Oh, hang on. I see. I see. Um. Oh, hang on. You equip it on here, and you use it like an item. And so you you do your little bell when that icon is there. So I'll keep the jellyfish in there. And I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> These fucking things are so weird. Okay. Just trying to explore maybe the, on the edges and see if there's anything. Get some beast bones. I need more beast bones. So I can craft some more arrows. I always feel bad when you kill one, they don't give you anything. It's like, <laughs> come on man, I'm only killing them if they give me an item, otherwise I'd, I feel bad. Ooh, it's almost falling to my death. Hello team, what's up? Ah, uh, here we go. See, so, I now that I'm in the pur purified ruins, this symbol has now popped up. So I'm gonna press this, I'm gonna do this. Alright, I have a jellyfish. Kind of, I'm just watching this jellyfish in action. Whoa! Okay. Go jellyfish. Okay. It's kind of weak, but that's okay because it's like a it's like a distraction. The jellyfish is like a distraction. <laughs> yeah, because it can like I guess it can like just yeah it can just like distract enemies and like knock them off their concentration. That's cool. It's like a nice little teammate. 
There you go. So it takes the aggro too, and then you can just backstab him. Does it have a time limit? Oh, how did what? How did you survive? What the fuck? Does it have a time limit, or is it just its health? That's like the deciding factor in that. I don't know. Come here. Thank you. I guess it just follows me around. Um, interesting. I'm still trying to find the correct entrance to this. Um, oh, it's one of these. Hello. Come out, one and all, from the darkness underground. And let us offer unto the maiden our eyes. <gasps> eyes. Okay. From the darkness underground. Oh, that's... I'm trying to find... Uh, there's a stake of Marika here. I'm trying to find the underground entrance in these ruins. It's gonna... it's gonna be here somewhere. I haven't seen it yet. Let me head in here. Yeah. Are you guys all sleeping? Sleeping on the job, eh? Watch your own health. Oh, I can... I can choose when to send the summon spirit back. Oh, I think that's my way down. <laughs> oh, God. Don't attack my jellyfish. Alright, found our entrance. Down we go. Into the ruins. Oh, I've lost the jellyfish. So the symbol is now gone. Gotcha. <gasps> there you go. Alright, hang on. Shabiri Grape. And now... You sort from... Or I, acquisition. Is it a key item then? Oh, it is a key item. Fuck, so it's a so it won't tell you where to get it. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. That's specifically what it's for. And it's an eyeball. The grape is like an eyeball. Okay. That makes sense. So it's a key item. We pray today that this chest will be an item and not some super spooky smoke trap. Thank you, Elden Ring. Two Fingers Heirloom Talisman. Hello. Raises faith. Oh. Dude, it gives us a five boost in th in faith. Fingers cannot speak, yet those uh, yet these were eloquent. Persistently did they wriggle, spelling out mysteries in the air. Thus did we gain the words, the words of our faith. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna give her a grape. Convenient that there is a grape right outside where she's waiting for one. I wonder if that'll be a common thing that we'll find the grapes near where she's asking for them. Oh god, look at that thing, man. I've got a grape for you. Hello? Would you donate any? I'm on a pilgrimage and when I eat one I think... Give a grape. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem somehow firmer. Okay. You are most kind. May the blessing of the fingers be... Blessings of the fingers upon you. Okay, well... Lady's got two grapes so far, so there you go. Pretty good. She's done getting grapes. Um, I've already forgotten what that is. It's funny, see, I mark things, I'm like, 
couldn't tell you what that was. I've already forgotten. <laughs> I've already forgotten, but it's fine. Alright, I feel like she's going to move now, so I may as well remove that marker. Um, which path should I go off? Obviously it's pushing us that way, but is it... Let's, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. See what we find. We're doing pretty. We're doing pretty good. We're finding some. We're finding some stuff. Ah, oh, right. I marked the teleport thing. There you go. That's why markers are so important. Because I'm already forgetting what it is. All right. There's a fight here. This is the remain. The remains of. Oh, it's a giant face. I'm like this is the remains of something. Look at that face. God, that's terrifying. Oi, oi, what's happening then? What's happening then? Spirit boys! Oh! Oh, hello! Are they friend or foe? I don't know. Uh, who's summoning blue boys? Because that's... there's a lot of them. Oh my god. That one's different from the other ones. He's got a he's got a head. He's got like a helmet, crystal dart. Look at his helmet. All right. Holy shit, man. Who's summoning illusions? Who's summoning illusions around here? Oh god, it's getting spooky all of a sudden. It's getting spooky. Oh shit! I, I don't even realize that it's blowing up until it's too late. I'm like, ah! You are looking out towards Hogwarts, my friend, aren't you? Rhea Lucaria, hallowed hall dedicated to the study of magic. Why shut your doors to me? Am I barred from donning the crown of stone? The crown of stone? Oh, Jesus! I almost just got one-shotted! Where the fuck did you just come from? What the fuck? Knight's Cavalry? Hello? <laughs> just appeared. What the fuck? Alright. I'm- I died. Okay. I died there. Shit, man. I swear I was probably close to a point of grace as well. Now I gotta make my way back. <laughs> what the fuck? Knight's Cavalry. Cool. Got ourselves a, a horsey boy boss fight. That's always fun. That's always fun. Always gotta make sure that it's not an NPC sitting on the ground and an enemy. Okay. Where are we? God, I wish you could open a map when you're in danger. It's okay, guys. I trust myself to open the map. Oh, there's a point of grace right here. <laughs> there you go. Always on the main road. Stick to the road, they say. Oh, it's a, one of those dungeon statues as well. Fuck, we've got a couple more things down here. Alright, lost grace. Discovered. We've got another one of these. Hello there, I missed you. Ah, the puppets. The puppets besiege us. Okay, they're puppets. Those blue boys. Affectionately referred to as blue boys. You there, show me the path to a little little bit of a dungeon, will ya? Show me the way. Let me examine ya. Where are you going? Which way are you going? Off that way, are you? Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, it stays on the map anyway. It'll... Okay. I'll be back. I need to go fight a horseman for my runes. Hello, wolf. Can I pass in peace, please, without having to fight you? I've gone the wrong way because I need to be lower down. God damn it. Honestly, this game is just massive, dude. <laughs> like, like this—the scale 
of this game is uh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. And it just gets bigger the more you play instead of, instead of smaller. Because you get like way more of an understanding of how big it is when you keep playing. You're like, oh, that's just another map piece. Just opening up the map even bigger than I thought it was before. This game is giving me, as usual, a big old case of the claw grip. I have to hold down sprint with B. Alright. Are you prepared to face Horseman? I'm going to say yes. Is it better to do a horse versus horse fight? Uh, I'm going to enhance my attacks on horseback. So it just fucking appears. There's a side of grace, like, right behind it. Uh... Hello? There was a horse. It's gone now. Okay. Ah, oh, hang on a second. That could be why. Hold on. Ooh! Traveling across the... the bridge. Let's have a look at this. What time is it? It's morning. And this is the Gate Town Bridge, which Vare said... Go to the Rose Church west of Gate Town. Uh, it's currently morning. That horseman was called Knight's Cavalry, right? Is it a horse that only appears at night? Alright, it's night time. And is that why it like suddenly appeared? Because it's like, oh, it's night time. There it is, I can see it. There you are. Oh my god. Like, don't... Don't tell me that this doesn't straight up feel like... Oh, there's a bear there. Don't tell me that this doesn't straight up feel like Lord of the Rings. When the hobbits are trying to, like, leave the Shire. They're walking through the forest and there's, like, the Black Rider. Like, observing. I don't know if they can see light, so I'm just going to turn that off. Can we stealth attack on a, on a when they're on a horse? I don't know if we can stealth attack while they're on a horse. Dude. Like if you just stab the horse in the butt. Oh god. You didn't see anything. Oh god, no, 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 you didn't no no, it's okay. You didn't... Quick, look over there! You didn't see anything. You, you didn't see... No. Okay. <laughs> he was thinking about it. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die in two hits. Okay. Hold on! Oh, you fight like tree sentinel. I've got a horse this time. Oh my god. I didn't take any damage there, but my horse did. Holy crap. Oh my god. Whoa. Can we do damage to the horse and like get him off the horse? Whoa! I think so. Yes. Okay, there's two health bars. You can get him off the horse. <laughs> this is so cool! Holy shit! Whoa! Okay, horse is almost gone. You're gonna lose your horse, boy. Nice! Get horseless. No horses? Fuck, he's still gonna fuck me up. Oh god. 
Whoa! Oh, he resummons the horse. That's fucking awesome. Oh, that's so fucking cool, man. He resummons the horse. That is awesome. Ugh, that was a mistake. Okay, don't fight long range. Oh, fuck. Okay. No. Watch out, Torrent. Ah, don't pause. I'm on the run here. Hold on. I need to get back. I need to get back my advantage. Oh, shit, man. Oh, Torrent. We're gonna lose you, bud. Yep. Fuck. Alright. We've both lost a horse now. Shit. Jesus. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, that was a delay. Jesus. Ah! Damn it, bud. Well, that's enough of that ability. Oh, come on, bud. You're almost down. <laughs> gotcha, you fuck. Nice. Damn. Ash of War, Ice Spear. Far out, man. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. The Ash of War grasps an armament, the Cold Affinity, and the following skill. Ice Spear. Skills the warriors who serve Luna, Princess, Rani. Rani? Rani? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. So we've met... We've met the Witch, Rena, and there's a Luna, Princess, Rani? Are they connected? Do you think they're connected? Especially because Rena appeared at night. Luna, Princess, Rani. That could potentially be her other half. Rena and Rani? Rani? I don't know. Usable on pole arms, capable of thrusting and twin blades. Man, I'd love to actually rock a twin blade properly. That would be that would be awesome. Okay. Um that's done. Knight's cavalry. Wow! Look at the sky at night, dude. Look at that. The night sky over Rhea Lucaria. Let's rest at this side of grace, shall we? Let's level up. I need more health, man. I, can't, I was getting... I was getting two-shotted. I was getting two-shotted at points. By that... by that guy. Alright, let's see where we are. Gate Town Bridge. Now, that's Gate Town Bridge. So, Gate Town itself. Oh, there's another map marker. Let's get that. Gate Town itself. It might be 
here, and then west of Gate Town is a Rose Church. Alright, let's go get this map marker as we head down here on the broken bridge, and another one of those little air balloons. Oh man. When you feel like you're, when you're getting a couple of map markers and you're going through an area, I get, I get stressed. I'm like, oh, am I uncovering too much too fast? It does, it, I am aware of the fact that I still need to comb through here. Like this is a new area, so I'm kind of like pushing in and exploring, but I will, like, trust me, I will go back and I will explore things and make sure that we're, uh, we're looking at all this stuff, so I'm not just going to push through straight on the road and ignore everything else, you know? Don't stress. Uh, the Academy Gate Town. Okay. So west of here is the church. So we've got a flooded... Okay. Academy Gate Town. So we've got a flooded town. I'm just going to this side of Grace and the map before we branch out a little bit further. God, I love the, the atmosphere of this place. North, okay. North Leonia. So is that, that's Rhea Lucaria there. So, interestingly enough, it looks like... Yeah, you can really see, like that there is like one straight path almost through this whole game. Like there is just this road, Castle Morn, and you just pull up here and this road just goes doo -doo 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 in the bridge. And it just like, there's definitely like this main track almost that just goes all the way. And that'll take us through almost to the royal capital of Leendell. Wild, and I guess Leonia West is out here for us to uncover. This is a lot to take in being out in an area like this. It feels overwhelmingly large when you enter a new place. Okay, no, no Melania trying to talk to us. Why am I saying Melania? Her name's Melina, right? <laughs> Melania. Who are these guys? Oh, hello. Oh, I assume you're gonna fight me, but you you look so innocent. You're just kinda chilling out there. Residents of Gate Town. Do you think I could pass in peace? I mean, I don't know. You don't look like I'd want to fight you. You look kind of nice, but if you fight me, if you go to attack me, I will be forced to defend myself. So it is peace until peace is broken. On your side. I'm looking around. Oh, we got new ones. We got new flowers. New flowers just dropped. New flowers. I'm going to take a wild guess based on their color and say that they drop, that they inflict sleep instead of poison. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Maybe I'll let them do their pollen thing and I'll see if that's correct. Having a sleep status is very peculiar as well. That's kind of cool. Man, this whole, like, it's like a drowned town because of the water. But at the same time, we're on quite solid, we're on quite solid ground. So it almost doesn't feel like it's just drowned, but it's like just everything is rubble. You know what I mean? Oh, where's this grease at? Where this magic grease at? I wanna read that magic grease. Looking for that magic grease. So just a mixture of magically resonant materials. So it adds magic damage to attacks. Oh, how do <laughs> Yes! King of whatever this is. Okay. Damn. So thinking about that Knight's Cavalry boss that appears at night, that's just made me rethink almost the entire map. Because I'm like, oh fuck. Like, there are, that means there are 
different bosses uh, and potentially different enemies at different times of the day. And it's like, it makes you want to co like go through an area at one time and then... Makes one you want to go through an area at one time and then go back at a different time. Hey, do I need to find out what you do. Oh no, it's still poison. Okay. It's still poison. I thought different colors might be different statuses. Never mind. Myth busted. God, it I, fucking it makes it so unapproachable <laughs> when it just like starts off with the with the fucking poison shit. Oh, it's hard to pick a direction in an area that's so open. <laughs> It's like so open. Oh, this is this place is so massive, dude. I just have to pick a direction and run with it. It's like All right, there's a bunch of these things. Yeah, best thing to do, get up on a on some high ground. Why is there a collection of them like this? What are you all doing? This is the worst thing. I can't even really sightsee or like survey the land because it's Intentionally foggy and obscured. Hey guys, what you do? What you doing out here? Just spewing poison? For poison bloom? Okay. Oh, oh, these are called land squirts. Ah, so this tip that we bought is just literally like soft where they touch the ground and poison will cause them to rupture. So these are land squirts. Um, do we have a poison weapon? I feel like we do. Or there was one that we could buy, but we haven't. I don't think we own a poison weapon. But if poison caused them to burst, then if we just use poison on them, that's it, right? They're done. Do we have poison arrows? No. Okay, we don't have anything poison. How convenient that... It's, it says poison causes them to rupture, but at the same time they spew poison themselves. I don't know if, maybe I'm not reading that description right, but I feel like those notes are supposed to be giving us their their weaknesses for us to exploit. So they spew poison, but are also weak to it. I think. Ooh. There's a way across that gap. Far out. And then, the, you know, to touch on that thing with, like, the bosses appearing, like, enemies appearing at different times of the day, we've also got potential NPCs that appear at different times of the day, like, uh, Renna appeared at night. Renna appeared at night at Kale's church, the Church of Ella. Look at that picture. Like, look at that. Oh, man. I think what's at least, like, a good thing for our brains here is, like, at least these sites of grace sort of, uh, oh. Oh, hello. At least these sites of grace sort of, like, at least confirm with us when we recheck the map, like, areas that we have, like, explored to a point. So when I can, like, open the map when I'm not being chased by a wolf... And we can look out, and I can look over here and be like, oh, we haven't been over here. Which is kind of nice. More boys just standing around. Hello, everybody. I can, we can almost see the foot of the Erd tree out that way. How do we get up there? Ooh, we can. Fucking ride an elevator to the top and go to this big old tower. Hell yeah. Oh wow. Hello. There's a scarab around here, I can hear it. There you are. Hey! Ah, oh, 
Why do I always miss that one? I like charge it up and everything. Nice. They're so loud, those ones. Hello? Is anyone here? The, the Carrion Study Hall. O oh, celestial globe, transmit to posterity the wisdom of the moon and stars, and obscure forever the transgressions of the princess. The Lunar Princess? Alright, we're getting into Lunar Princess stuff now. So we're at the we're at a study hall entrance. Oh, hang on. Let me just recheck this list. Always checking the list just to see if Melina is there. Examine pedestal. Yeah, it's the moon. Something fits on this pedestal. Hmm. Okay. Something fits on this pedestal. I need something. I wish that... This is ironic considering what I have said about this, but it's different because we'd be doing it ourselves. Something that I wish that we could have as a marker is a question mark, because I do wish that we could make our own question marks as something that we've found, but we're not sure we'll come back later. I think a question mark would be great because I don't know what else to mark it with. Maybe I'll mark it with a flag, like a place of importance that I should come back to with uh, something that fits on that pedestal. We are going up a elevator though. Wow. Okay, we're inside. We're inside. This is just going to be the Bloodborne lecture lecture hall. Oh wow. Let's take a look around a study hall. Whoa! Fucking shit! Yeah. Okay. This place is protected. I get it. Woo! Fucking jump scares. All I wanted was the golden rune. They're like, do not loot this place, friend. I'll knock over all your books. You know, like, what, what's, a, like, a really cool thought um, is when you go into places like this, and Dark Souls has it, like, in, like, like Duke's archives, and, and Bloodborne has it, and, uh, like, stuff like that. When you go into, like, a place that, like, is a place of learning, or, like, has history, all this kind of stuff, uh, it's so fascinating to me. Like, just the idea, like, I, I, my brain tingles, like, getting, like, filled with the sense of wonder of how much history is in these books, and, like, all of, like, the lore of the world and everything like that is, is so cool. And I always just find that, like, a very, very cool thing to think about. Oh, it's a big hat! Whoa! Big hat, Miriam, who almost killed me and is very strong. All right, Preceptor Miriam, with your big hat. All right, hold on a second. Let's fight, shall we? What, what the fuck is that? Do you just giant bow me? I just got big hatted. I was doing no damage. I don't think I'm supposed to be in this tower. <laughs> uh, I did nothing. And I lost so much health there. I'm going to give it one more shot. Just to see if maybe I can do something about that. If not, just to get my runes. Uh, I don't have... A lot of... Uh, I don't have a lot of faith. In this area yet. I think we might have to wait. I think we may have to wait. Oh, is that like a... I wonder if I can go through that window. Okay. Oh god, you're already here. God. 
Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so you summon orb things, which is like a soul shower. You're a big fan. You're a big fan of that too. That's a giant soul arrow. Holy fuck. You're just gonna spam that one, are you? Okay, am I even gonna be able to get close? Okay, it does... it does damage, man. Okay. Can you chill the fuck out? Oh, holy shit, man. Oh, it does so much damage. Ah, give me the fuck out. Oh, no, get me the fuck out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm running away. See you, Miriam, you sucker. Take your explosive arrows and get the fuck out of my sight. These guys are fine. These guys are fine. Miriam, on the other hand, that's a that's a different subject. Oh, we got a glintstone staff. Holy fuck! Ah. We can. We have a staff. We could. We could get intelligence. Maybe we can get a talisman that increases intelligence, and then we can dabble. Aha! See you, Miriam. You fuck. Too strong. And surrounded by illusions. Well, not illusions, phantoms, I guess? I don't know. Surrounded by something. We'll be back. We'll be back. She's still just, she's still shooting at us. Look at her go down there. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to watch out for her. She's still staying down there. I'm exploring against my better judgment. Oh God. Definitely exploring against my better judgment here. I, I should probably be leaving this area well and truly alone as soon as I saw how much damage Miriam did to me. I just can't help myself, you know? There's light coming from there. And there's a ladder. What? Oh! Dude, the splash damage of a fucking arrow, though? When I'm, like, not even in direct... Fucking hell. It just almost takes out all of my health. Oh, she's gonna be able to get me from that range with this... with that stupid arrow, too. Where is she? She's down there somewhere. I gotta watch out for her while I'm up here, and that other guy as well. Oh, there's- why- how do you even get up here? Oh, look at her! Yep, there she is, still shooting at me. How do rats even get up here, dude? This is so much like the, um... I've forgotten the name of it. This is so much like Dark Souls 3. Oh. I thought you would have fallen off. Cerulean Seed Talisman. Yeah, this is so much like uh, walking on the rooftops of Dark Souls 3 and then that. Oh, and that's like a Bloodborne staircase. This is wild. This is just a mixture of like a uh, mixture of the lecture hall and that location in Dark Souls 3 that I've forgotten the name of that you need to go through to get to the twin princes. We need to find like a switch and it'll lower this oh, and it'll lower this spiral staircase for us like like Bloodborne. But how? But how? I wonder where the, if the lever would be on the wall somewhere. I'm just trying to like, it's pretty dark in here. I 
really like the music for this place. She's still going. She ain't giving up. Do you reckon it's a good idea to drop onto the chandeliers? Because I don't. What if you could like drop them down? <laughs> hmm. You like shoot the shoot it with our arrows and they drop down. Oh look at this guy hanging! Surely this can't be... I want... I... Ah, oh, okay. Maybe... My other thought is maybe what you have to do is you have to put that thing on the pedestal, like all the way down at the bottom, and that might activate this. And then... Hang on, there's a... I have two thoughts. I'll try this first. Nope. Um, there's what looks to be a switch there. And considering this is a place of sorcery and it's a long range thing, I'm wondering if you need to actually cast a spell onto that. I, we don't have any sorceries though, do we? Oh, uh, we've got Crystal Burst and Ambush Shard. Uh... I'm wondering if we could get the most basic of spells and like aim at that and maybe using a spell like lights up the way otherwise I don't know I was thinking maybe you could shoot the switch and it would trigger something I think we'll get stuck if we decide to drop down onto one of these chandeliers so it's probably not a good good idea Otherwise, the my other my other idea is um, putting something on that putting something on that pedestal, uh, and that'll cause that to fuck's sake, and that'll cause that to lower. I think that's my idea. No way to no way to know though, unfortunately. Also, because we're engaged in combat with uh, old mate prospector down there, I cannot use my map to get out of here because she's constantly aggroed so we're going to have to run down <laughs> alright then we'll head back down Our questions remain unanswered in this tower for now. We will have to come back here later when I think we've got something to put on that pedestal. I think that might be... Might be a smart way to handle it. This is Elden Ring exploration, guys. It's sticking your, to sticking your toes in places and seeing what happens. Anyway, we're already, already out of health. So that's good. You fuck. Oh no, why you... Did she just teleport? You can teleport, you sneaky fuck. Where are you now? You're up there. What the fuck? Well... Let me get these out of the way. Now that they're kind of not in the way. Okay. So she's gonna she's gonna keep teleporting her way up here. Oh, this is gonna make dying really painful. Ooh. Okay. Where'd you go now? She's up there. Okay. So she runs up here. She runs up here. If 
I die here and I have to come back for my rune, it's going to make it a painful run. We know it's possible, at least. Also, very susceptible to my, my good old sword. Oh, you're just prepping that one, are you? You're just prepping that one, are you? Let it go. Let it go. Oh, don't let her cast spells, dude. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, now we're in trouble. How did these guys come back? You want an arrow? I've also got an arrow. Can you stop moving please so I can get you this arrow? Miriam, please. <laughs> oh, this is such a battle. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Miriam. Oh. This is so close, dude. <laughs> look how many look at the arrows in it. Yeah! Magic downpour. That's her ability. I'm actually quite proud of that because because we did a mixture of combat mechanics there, and we gave her a decent go with our sword. So it was actually all the more satisfying to switch to a bow at the end there. We could have put her to sleep. That would have been actually pretty interesting if we put her to sleep. How cool. <laughs> we did it! We survived! <laughs> Fuck. Alright, so she gave us a sorcery. We actually lived to tell the tale. One of the sorceries of the Carrion royal family summons a massive magic that fires projectiles over a wide area. Said to have been taught by the Crystallians to mark the swearing of the old Concord. Nice. I'm gonna leave now, because I think that's a good idea. We don't have a way to bring down that spiral staircase, and we don't have an item to put onto this pedestal. But, we'll mark this for later, because then I guess it will eventually lead to this tower. <laughs> Very cool. I'm gonna make my way back to this statue, so we can go down there. Um, I'm not gonna fast travel though, we're gonna, we're gonna just try and go down oh, actually let me let's go down here and then maybe i'll fast travel back up to the side let's check out this while we're here and there's a path downward all right guys we've explored the path downward <laughs> there's a shack there but okay we're not getting there from this side Never mind. Okay, field trip cancelled. We ain't going there right now. Or we'll, maybe we'll curve around and we'll do it instead. All right, let's take a look. We've we ran through here. Uh, potentially, if we're up here, maybe there'll be a way for us to just drop down from there. All right, let's take another look around now that it's daytime. Instead of fast traveling and potentially miss something, we'll just take a little bit of a ride. Hello, wolf. You are you are friend. I'm leaving you alone, okay? I'm leaving you guys alone. Rare Lucaria looks absolutely nuts, by the way. That one looks fun. We gotta get. Uh, I. Uh, you know what? You know what? Something I remembered that I have. Something that I actually remembered that I 
have? Boosts magical damage negation. I should have had that on that whole time and I forgot that I had a magical negating talisman. I've got it now. I'll remember that. Because if we're going to Rei Lucario Academy, we're going to need some magic resistance, my friends. We're going to need some magic resistance. I'm so tempted to go up there. Oh, hang on. My goddamn... I'm, my directions are so bad. That's the church. That's Rose Church, west of Gate Town. So this is Gate Town. Um, and all the way across here, that's the church. I keep getting my... Uh, I'm getting my easts and wests mixed up. I don't usually do that, but it's happening. There is a lot of big flowers here. There is a lot of big flowers here. I'm not feeling it. Hello. Welcome to my sword. Whoa. Uh, who's doing that? Who is doing that? Are these... Is that these guys? Are these the flowers? Alright, it is. It's the flowers. So instead of them doing their... Their pillar of light thing, the other ones, these ones do... Oh, these ones do that! Hello, turtle friend. Oh my god. Hey guys. Just here for your strip of white flesh. Why can't you wield the bow in two hands? What are you doing? Thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's people on the balloons. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was like, wait a minute. It didn't die in one hit. That's moving. What is that? That looks like the... I was literally about to say that looks like the top of the fucking crawfish thing. What the fuck? Sheesh. Oh. Okay. There's just a couple. Smithing stone three. Oh. Okay. Okay. Chill out, everybody. I'm, I'm only a simple traveler passing through. Okay. There's a few of those. Um... They pop up in the ground, just like the crabs. Simple Traveler. Again, I'll repeat myself. Uh, mean no harm. Just purely exploring the area. Meaning no ill will to any of the, 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 the lovely sea creatures that live here. Thank you very much. I will be on my way. I'm looking for a, apparently a bird's eye. Hello. Hello. Please. Over here. I was looking for a bird's eye telescope, but I found... I found you instead. Hello? Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... He, too, is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Oh, I don't know the other side of the story here. I'll hear the request. Only if you fix your posture, because damn! Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Uh, abandoned home? Necklace. Now, what's your name? The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way, please. Hey, by down the way, do you mind specifying an actual location? Because 
that would help. North, south, east, or west. Those directions exist in this game. Which direction? Down the way? Meaning down that way? Or down that way? Where? Okay. We'll keep, keep an eye out for an abandoned house, apparently. It could be this. It could be that. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, it's just... I almost got scared. I almost thought I saw that Knight's Cavalry again, but it's just... It's fine. Bird's Eye Telescope. Maybe this can help us find... Abandoned... House. Okay. Uh, where are we? We're like right below... Where this is, right? Alright, that's where we are. That's that thing. That's another tower. Oh, can you... Do you know what would be really handy? While you're in Bird's Eye View? is being able to, this is a Breath of the Wild mechanic, is when you're looking out with your oh, binoculars, you can place beacons while you're looking. You know what I mean? You can like look at a something and press, press a button to mark it out. Okay, there's another tower over there. These look like some ruins. There's a grace point. These bird's eye telescopes are actually really, really handy in an area like this. Oh wow, so you can go up there, but there's also a fucking cave system underneath it. Okay, we've got a, a lot of these gazebos. Ah, oh, that looks like that's our abandoned house right there. <laughs> that pops in and out when you zoom in. Okay, I think we're heading there. doesn't look like much on the map but we've got a couple of things for us to check out again naturally in every single look in every single direction but let's go this way because this is the only thing that I have seen that looks like a house it houses a fellow tarnished however perhaps we can approach as a friend on our way and be like hello there fellow tarnished Happen to find any necklaces out there? And if so, would you be happy to happy to part ways with it? Oh, okay, you can see the the fucking these things just hiding. Ugh. I've already lost the the house. I think it was this way? Uh, hey, you guys seen a house? I think I... Hello, guys. Alright, they will attack me. That's unfortunate. I wanted friends. But all I can find are foes. Fuck. Alright, I think I've gone too far, because the house wasn't that far away, was it? These are ruins, though. Yeah, I've gone... I've gone too far. Oh. Are these fucking guys gonna shoot me at a long distance. I feel like we were, like, right next to the house. And somehow... Oh, okay, we're back here. This is not a new sight, sight of grace. Oh my god, the, the fog really making it easy for me. Alright, let's try that again. Alright. That's... Fuck, there's so many of them. Uh, oh! Far out, man. Sniper fish, like, fuck. And everything is like the the weather change is just it's still foggy. I can't pull up the map. 
All right, hang on. That's that prawn that was on the road. Okay, so. <laughs> Where's the fuck? All right. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the telescope. Where the fuck is this house, man? My use of, uh, my use of direction can't be that bad, can it? All right. Let's keep in keep in mind. I guess the things will look further than they appear in this telescope. All right. So, what the fuck's that house? There. Okay. So it's literally just like just go straight there. It's like right there. Okay. So straight that way. And then I'll see a house. It's just straight this way. Right? Do not falter from the path. Just go straight this way. There it is. I'm oh, <laughs> fucking straight ahead. Like, how the fuck did I manage to avoid this house? There we go. Alright. Boil Prawn Shack. Here's our fellow tarnished at the Boil Prawn Shack. About time for me to level up, boys. More health, <laughs> please. Oh, are they giant prawns? Those enemies. Huh. See, obviously, I told you I'm not very good with my with my with my sea monsters, <laughs> like prawns. What does a prawn even look like? If I just totally ah oh, okay, I can just, it's like a fucking prawn on absolute steroids with giant claws. I can see like it's got like a shrimp body, but it's got fucking lobster claws, man. <laughs> What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Something, mate. <laughs> you trying to start something, mate? I mean, if you're going to give me that attitude with your iron mask, your maidenless fellow, I'm going to take your necklace from you then. Ah, that necklace, what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. Show me. What it means to me. I mean, it probably means my sword through your throat, but we'll see. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. Blackguard. Alright, Chief. Okay, there you go. We've got her name. Her name is... Raya? Rhea? I'm gonna go with Raya for now. So... Raya's necklace stolen by a blackguard. Features a relief of a dignified looking woman from a foreign country. It appears to hold great significance for Raya. It looks very similar to those, um... To the ones in... Dark Souls 3. That's like the symbol of the... Like, the soldier, the scholar, and the, um... The wet nurse. It's only a thousand runes. Mm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Well, why'd you steal it then, son? Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? <laughs> Freshly cooked it is. All right then. It's yours. If you can meet me price, I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too. If you've got the runes. Ah, oh, he's a merchant. I was I was going to murder this guy straight up. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right. Well, sort the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped. Is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Look, she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. Okay. 
Boiled prawn. Oh, just sells boiled prawn. Boiled prawn meat, a prime specimen of plump and moist meat. True connoisseurs know how to keep from over-salting. Boosts physical damage negation for a certain duration. The meat actually looks to have come from a crayfish. They are. See, I was calling them a clawfish. What did I say they were? Crawfish? I was so close! Crayfish. I was close. They're not prawns. I got... I was, see, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> uh, I almost had it. See? I should have more faith in myself. <laughs> uh, the meat actually looks to have come from a crayfish. Uh, not that it matters, it's delicious all the same. So 600 and there's an infinite amount of them. Physical damage for a certain duration. I actually think I'll buy some. I'll buy five. Buy some of your prawn. Ah! I can talk to you again. Okay. You're tarnished too, ain't you? Uh-huh. Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over with it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Interesting. Um, I guess, like, maybe it almost goes with, like, turning hollow. You lose your way and you can no longer see the, um... The grace. Never met someone with a taste for brawn or contrast. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> All right, mate. This okay. The spread out gesture. All right. All right then. Let's go head back to to Raya. What's the bet? Her name is Ria, but it's spelt like Raya. We'll find out. I'll run on back to her and we'll give her back this necklace. That appears to have some meaning to her, but apparently she's uh, she's not all right. That one. I'm sorry. Death bird. Look at its face. What the fuck is that? Death bird. Oh! Why do you look like that? Why? Oh! That, that ain't right, that one. That ain't right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Shit, man. I'm stuck in a tree. Uh, get down from there. Okay, hitbox. Sure. What the fuck? What is this death bird? It's trying to peck me with whatever the fuck kind of face that is. Oh my god, if I could get one of these strong attacks off, that would be nice. Jesus. Oh, hang on. Enhance my attacks on horseback, please. Oh! <laughs> hey! 
It's always very interesting when Torrent takes the brunt of the blow and I still have health. I always find that one a very interesting. Die, you fucking bird monstrosity. Whatever the fuck you are. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Red feathered branch sword. Nice. Is this an so this is another monster that appears at night? Because it was not there before. <laughs> fuck me. Alright, got a cool sword. Where is it? Let me see the cool sword. Ah, oh, order of acquisition, it should be last. Ah, oh, which means it's not a weapon. It might be a talisman then. In that case, talisman. Oh, we also didn't check out the Cerulean Seed talisman. Boosts FP restoration from the Flask of Cerulean Tears. The Erd Tree was once perfect and eternal, and thus was it believed that Erd Tree Seeds could not exist. It is a talisman, there you go. Raises attack power when HP is low, once used in ancient death rituals. The heart sings when one draws close to death, and a glorious end awaits those who cling so tenaciously to life. Cool. Cool! Alright, uh, I've kind of lost the direction I was going. Here. <laughs> Let's deliver that necklace. Surprise death bird. Surprise death bird. Alright. Listen you. I've got your bloody necklace. Is, is the necklace really heavy or something and it causes you to like ugh, bend over like that? The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way, please. I got it. Let's give you your necklace. Oh yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? Yes. I am Raya. Yes. In the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Volcano, 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 volcano manor invitation. It's literally just like a Canehurst castle invitation. Brave tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Let me write that down too. So, uh, Raya, I got it correct. Um, Lady Tanith of Volcano Manor at the Altus Plateau and you can fight amongst a family of champions. Cool. So many cool things that I'm writing down, dude. Oh, and one more thing. Only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift, there's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you. A champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Okay, Grand Lift of Dectus, which is not working, but there's ruins in the cliff, which I think, is that what we pointed out over here? Like, it's literally that stuff over there, right? If there's going to be anything in a cliff, that's a cliff, that's a cave point. So it might be there, but also it might be somewhere else. That might be something else entirely. 
Seek the old ruins in the cut the base of the valley near it was excavated from I have faith in you. I do hope. Okay. Wow. Okay. That was way more than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, I'm just gonna return this simple necklace. And she's like she's like, man, I'm gonna change your life. So Lady Tanith of Volcano Manor. Sheesh. Okay. Boil prawn shack. Damn. That's solid. We just expanded our map quite a decent amount. And that will bring this episode of Elden Ring to a close. Thank you so much for joining me today as we finally decided to branch into Leonia, which is amazing. So we've done a lot in Limgrave. <laughs> done a lot in Limgrave. Um, and we're pushing forward into this area. So we're going to just try and explore as much of this as possible. Push out to the west as well. Um, and look into that Rose Church. There's a lot of notes that I'm, I'm keeping down for us to, to try and go back to and i'm so excited for there to just it's just stuff in every direction and it's awesome so thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Elden ring next episode we're going to go right here i'm going to make this our point of contact we're going to go to this thing because i said that i would and then i got distracted because i ended up here <laughs> and then we ended up falling into another side quest so next time we go and check out this dungeon uh, and then we'll proceed to explore more of leonia thank you so much and i'll see you then